Hello, welcome to another video. So today I'm going to have a quick run through Open Mandriver LX 4.01 Alpha. Um, I know it says LX 4.0 here, but I've got the ISO, the 4.01 ISO that I downloaded. Um, so it's been a long time since I've looked at Mandriver, um, Open Mandriver, sorry, um, very long time, and even then I only looked at it shortly. So um, it's it's going to be sort of like a, just a sort of a, a refreshing run through, if you like. Then so let's. Open Mandriva LX is an exciting free desktop operating system that aims to cater to interest first time and advanced users alike. So this is just the uh, welcome screen here. So you've got the kernel 5.3.9, the latest available series, features BFQ disk, IQ schedulator, and what's new? HD slash SMT nice is enabled by default for better responsiveness and real time behavior on PCs with hyper threading. This improves the performance of foreground applications at at the expense of background once your desktop GUI applications will remain fast even if you run folding at home okay um, so it comes with KDE Plasma Workspace 5.17.2 what else have we got in there is that everything okay cool so let's just have a look around um, I don't like the default wallpaper so let's just change that straight away <coughs> which is running in a virtual machine Okay, so let's just see what defaults they have. A lot of roses or flowers, whatever that is. Uh, let's go for that. There we go. Um, so yeah, they've got quite a big taskbar at the bottom here, bottom panel, and you've got your workspace switcher in a row uh, of two. I prefer to just have one row though. So let's. Uh, so here's your menu here where you can launch your applications and search through them so you get graphics oh, sorry at the start of education you get mathematics science so digicam gwenview critter LibreOffice draw ocular and scan light in your graphics in your internet you get the k mail k torrent um, conversations so the usual sort of kde suite of applications multimedia it comes with vlc player and mpv media player quave sound editor Caden live video editor that's quite nice that it comes with that out of the box um I, it probably i don't know how long it has been doing that I've, and simple screen recorder as well that's pretty cool okay props for that would rather see obs there but to keep things light that's a you know that's a good trade-off comes with the liberal office suite out of the box and um, you've got your file open mandriver control center let's have a look at this Hi Tyler, Open Mandriver is a set of tools to help you configure your system in each part. Let's have a look at them. So install additional applications with DNF. Let's do that. Let's have a look at what additional let's sort of go through that process. Has they got an animation for switching desktops? No, it just disappears. Okay. I'm sure you can change that obviously in the um settings. So What's it doing here? It says zero percent. So is it trying to do anything? No. Let's try and install. I don't think it had GIMP. So let's just see if we. Nothing can GIMP. What's going on here then? It's got a percentage here, and I can't do apply or anything. Let's try Tmux. I'm not getting anything. Maybe my internet's not working. Hold on just a moment. Falcon, that's an internet browser, isn't it? So it comes with Falcon Internet Browser. Does it come with Firefox as well? Or is it just Falcon? Internet. Um, no, so it just comes with Falcon, so I'd probably install. Right, it's looking like the... network's not working so what i'm going to do is i'm going to pause the video here and then we'll come back hopefully of a working internet connection okay so hopefully we are back with a working internet connection so let's just pop open falcon again and yeah i can see we are now so it's coming up with some updates so let's um let's continue where we were so let's go back to what we did so we went next no we didn't where's previous we went to the con Oh, it was at the Open Mandriva Control Center or something, wasn't it? There we go, that's where we were. So let's close this and let's just sort of carry on with the process we were doing. 
Right, so let's install some additional packages. And put our password. All right. So we've got some updates, I do believe. So shall we do all of it? Can you do a sort of select all? No, no updates. Okay, whatever. Right, so let's go for GIMP. So we get GIMP. Let's do that one. So we've got Caden Live. Let's get Tmux. No Tmux. Hmm, strange. Okay, no Tmux. Let's just apply that for now then. And we'll see how that gets through. So it's going to pull the dependencies for you. Okay. Right, while it's doing that, we're going to jump over to Workspace 2 and we're going to see sort of what themes and stuff it comes with out of the box. So, themes. Oh, hold on, can we do it from the control center? Let's do it the way the open man drive away. <laughs> okay. Let's go to next. Um, open man drive, no. Is there anything about look and feel? Display, configure, connections. User group management, plasma, discover store, guest account, configure time. No. Right, so let's just go into the global theme settings. And then we'll see what we got out of the box. I'm not too keen on the uh, the light blue on the top window decoration there. So it's just that. Um, let's just go into... Plasma style. Still sort of getting used to using KD. I've been using it quite a, sort of a bit more on the channel as of late because a few of the distributions I've been using have been using it. Right, so let's just go on to. No, okay, yeah, fine. So it comes with just those three out of the box. So you get Open Mandriva 4.0. Don't forget, this is the Alpha 4.01 release though. So let's get a new theme. And we're just going to go for that one. And then we'll get some new icons as well. And we will make this bottom bar a bit smaller as well. I don't know why it's so large. I know some people like it, but it's just far too big and takes up too much real estate for me to be comfortable with. Right, is that installed, that one? Yep, so let's get install new icons. And um, let's type in mocha. And I think that points you to the arc icon set. So now let's go into our global theme. Uh, it's not there yet. So maybe if we open that back up. Global theme. And there it is. So let's apply that one. Um, the reason why I changed the icons though is because... Oh God, where are we gone? They're sort of very apple-y sort of like so the finder was like the face and stuff like that and I don't like that because it just makes you feel like an Apple clone whereas I just like the colour of their dark theme which is why we've downloaded these icons there so we will now change our icons um, it's not populated just yet oh where have we gone okay so it doesn't quite go too well with this with their menu here it works fine on other KDE distributions with a different menu so I'll have to maybe sort of change that menu about so let's just do that apply okay and now let's make this smaller yeah this is not like in this global theme maybe it needs a restart what I'll do is I'll restart it in just a moment Okay, that's better. That's more like it. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stop this video here and restart it and we'll see if the sort of theme's looking a bit more cohesive and taking effect or if it's just not too compatible with this KDE setup. Okay, as you can see, it's not any better after a reboot, so the theme is just not, not very compatible. So let's just get a new global theme. But while we're here, let's see if we've got HTOP installed. And if we don't, let's install it quickly. We do. So although it's a virtual machine, we can see it's only using 550 megabytes out of boot, sort of as you boot. Um, it would probably use more natively though, but that's how much it's using at boot. So let's get a new global theme. 
let's actually keep that open and see how it handles the applications so we'll get a different global theme because this is just not not working so let's go and install the arc global theme and hopefully we'll have a bit more luck with that one so let's go to arc install right so i do believe that's installed that we'll probably have to open the app again um no we don't it's there cool so let's go to apply and hopefully that looks a bit better there we search bar has got a bit of a block there but for the most part i can live with that that looks quite nice so that's that so let's now open up a few packages and see how it goes so let's open up gimp that we installed earlier let's open writer so it comes with 2.10 for gimp which is just fine we're now at about no oh, let's close that close that and then we'll just see what version of libra we are going we are currently running about libra office so that's 6.3.22 which is okay as well okay cool so let's close that um, let's see what HTOP says. So HTOP is at 738. Let's see if we can get that to a gig or two um, and see if it freezes or stutters and then sort of wrap up the video there. So let's open up Writer again. Let's install. What's it doing? Let's install Firefox, so a, a, a more beefy web browser because it's only coming out of the box with console. So let's open up, how do they like you to install programs? So let's go to software. So dnfd, this one here, and then let's type in, let's go for Firefox. Brilliant, um, let's see if there's any Chrome packages available. So you've got Chrome Gnome Shell. So if you was running Gnome, you could do your extensions. I don't see no Chrome, Google Chrome. Let's see if it's got Chromium. Just got Chromium as well. So let's just also install Chromium. Let's get this one here, version 76. Yep, that'll do. Right, and we'll click Apply, and that'll sort of grab all the dependencies for the packages. And um, we'll click, type in our password okay so we'll let that do that and we'll just sort of have another look at whatever other applications it's got i know we've done that already but let's just so what's the firewall okay so let's have a look at their firewall Right, so um, you've got sort of external, internal, and then sort of allow, and have you got so checkbox, and then it would sort of allow it, I suppose, and you've got your ports and your protocols, services, and again, okay, configuration, runtime, or permanent, right. So how's that getting along with our packages? Okay, I think that's done, or is it? I think that's done. Um, let's see how you update the packages as well. I did see, oh, there you go. Got our first bit of lag now, so it's freezing as we try to open the menu. Should we try that again? Okay, um, right, let's have a look. So let's type in update, and then this is the updater. Or is it, can we close this? Right, let's try and open that again update updater oh god i've opened three now right let's uh, close some of these exit okay so that's the icon and then you get a notification at the bottom right okay so let's open the updater update so here's the list of packages all oh, looks all good to me so that's is there not a check all not that I can see at the moment. So let's just, oh, there you go, select all right there. Silly me. So let's apply that. And then we'll click OK. Type in our password. And hit Enter. 
So that'll be updating our packages. So what memory are we at now and how are that how is that CPU looking? So we've got two virtual CPUs. They're fluctuating between sort of one and twenty. Um, we're at memories at about one gig so far. We've only had a couple of sort of stutters here and there. Um, but for an alpha release on a virtual machine, that's not too bad. Um, I'll cut the video there. That's been Open Mandriva LX 4.01 Alpha. Um, <laughs> thank you for watching. If you enjoyed that video, please subscribe and I will see you on the next one.